Beaver! Away! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Critscast in this week two of Premiership Highlander that you've been turning in and have set your priorities right for this evening as we have two the two top uh, European teams as we have strong opinions tonight facing STCK on Galliwash and the best map in the map pool product. With me tonight on the camera is the Dutchman who is always carrying on the production. In the background, retoofed and also from the other side of the ocean with me is another, at least semi spyman, I guess. So this is going to be amazing tonight. We have uh, Viper in the co-casting booth. Good evening, Viper. How are you doing, man? I'm doing great. We are going to have the camera only on both spies for the rest of this cast, just so you guys all know. I'm just kidding. Uh, and I'm, I'm doing great. I always like to see these regular season matches between two top teams, because it's the first time you really get to see like what the season is going to be like, or at least an idea. Yeah, definitely. It's like the the kind of the pace setter of these two teams. Like when they clash so early in the season, then they kind of set the uh, the record for the rest of the season and for the other teams. As we are slowly switching the map to actually start on product. So before we uh, get to, I mean, I, I mentioned the maps we play, Galliwash, but product we play first. And before we go down the established teams, uh, Viper, what are your thoughts about? Uh, about the amazing map product. Oh, I I think it's it's like you said earlier, one of the best maps that is played in Highlander. There's a reason why it's been played for season over season. Um, as a spy main, I always feel well, a semi spy main. I always feel that a, a you know sniper is just so crazy on this map. The spy always feels the feels compelled to pressure him. All the other classes feel compelled to you know, play around the other team's sniper and their own sniper. So this is definitely a, a big sniper duel type map. And we have two pretty good snipers here today. Definitely. Even though after the, um, we have seen the meta maybe a bit, a bit shifted because now we have the amazing nerfs coming in for the sniper with the Razorback, but also for the, for the ambassador. But yeah, definitely, as you were saying, like I always praise this map because you have so many win conditions basically, but as we are saying, like the pick classes are very, very strong on this one, especially. Yeah, um, I mean it's interesting. This is very early in the season, and the you know the first thing that I thought of when the ambassador got nerfed so heavily as it did is you know what are the spies like Toast who are so good with the ambassador? How are they going to adjust their playstyle? And I know Viaduct was one of the greatest maps to use that ambassador on, and it'll be interesting to see if he runs it in this map, if both spies run it, if neither run it, um, you know, and what what they're gonna do to adapt to their new kind of uh, weaker playstyle. I would say. So uh, as as we're on the topic, so um, like uh, Granger, Bob, the uh, Granger, the spy on the. I just want to point that out on the on the blue team for SCCK. There was this one season when. I don't know, like season six or so when the MB was like really strong and he was like the spy who used revolver one hundred percent. There was a statistic and he never used MB and everyone else used MB like the whole time. So I don't think it's gonna phase him too much. I think he always plays this map with revolver anyway, but also like as you were saying, um Toast uh is still like I watched him play without MB and it doesn't really change anything. He still gets these nine Ks and stuff as we're slowly getting the players into to the server, as I can already point out, uh, we don't have all the players, so we actually can't do a roster rundown yet, but we don't seem to have the main rosters here. I think we have a bit uh, switched up uh, of players, so we'll see how this works out in this map But uh, on this tonight. But yeah, like um, pick classes definitely, but also um, the, the power of the flank, as I was saying, like so many win conditions. How what is um, the biggest the biggest uh, difference you think from NA to European? Our Europeans play product. I know that your scouts carry like so hard on these maps. I played against uh, what was it, Corsa, I think, in the in the Nations Cup, and it was uh, just yes. not fun on product. It was just not. Yeah, playing against Corsa on scout is is never a fun thing. We do definitely 
I would say we play our scouts on the point, getting tanked a lot harder than uh, people do in ETF2L. And I would say that we probably pocket our snipers a little bit more. Um, the heavies I've noticed are definitely like playing a completely different play style. In NA, usually a lot of teams will have the heavy on the cliff, um, whereas I've seen a lot of these heavies in EU will play much more like aggressively. They'll take heals and like make space, kind of like the heavy for my team, uh, Carl does. They kind of play in a similar way. Yeah, um, I mean, I was uh, like also play on the on the cliff, but I know what you mean. Like in the transition, I I noticed that because um, who is it? Um, Kresnik is playing for chess club like since a long time now in ETFL, and I played more against him and other NA heavies. And you can definitely feel the difference. They are like more tend towards the cliff. I mean, European heavies also hold on the cliff, but uh, they switch it up during the maps more often. I feel like I think we actually almost yeah. I think we have the nine players. I don't think if we have them on their classes yet. I oh, okay. So we have a bit of a bit of um, map mamu jamu. Someone wants to uh, start on Galliwash. Ooh. Um, SCCK want to try their their luck against strong opinions on Galliwash. And a bit of um, a bit of a blast from the past. I still remember an amazing game or strong opinions on the um, against Fair Enough, which were the the team to beat back in the day. And it was literally them parking the bus in Big Door. I don't know if is this a common strat in Galliwash in in NA that you just hold Big Door and bore the other team to death on mid or just in general? No, uh, after you come <laughs> uh, second. I was gonna and say you... on mid. That is definitely something that we don't know. We gotta watch some STVs, but. But no, I definitely definitely Gullywash is like it's a big stalemate map. Um, a lot of teams like to play it really aggressive, but then you also have that those teams that will, you know, they will roll out their engineer on level threes just anticipating that second hold. Um, and it, I think that's that could be a reason why uh, some players want to start on Gullywash, just because it might be a little bit more forgiving if you haven't warmed up all the way if you're trying to feel the other team out. On gully wash, there's that buffer, those those real tiny chokes, and you can just kind of sit on the opposite side of them and you know kind of regather your your team, regather your momentum. Um, on product, it's really easy to just get instantly rolled if your chemistry is not good. So that could be why we're starting on gully. Maybe some of the players want to just feel out the other team. Yeah, definitely. Like if you lose uh, two um, two rounds on gully wash, it's not in any way like close to um, comparable to losing two rounds in product because then it's basically over for a team as you said but yeah also um, since we were just talking about the pick class on product also on uh, on Gali I feel like Gali always um, don't think snipers actually have that much of, a, of an impact definitely not compared with product it always seems like this kind of long sideline map but it's actually not that great even though it seems like it a bit but yeah, I, I hope we see a fast game. I, I'm definitely thinking that these teams won't turtle up, especially considering um, like SDCK like to death ball a lot, like go together with nine people and then they kill everything and kept like four rounds in, I don't know, like two minutes or something. So if they get the roll and the ball in their court basically and get the game going, I I am not very comfortable for strong opinions on this map. Otherwise though, if the map settles a bit down, so. This was a cheeky transition now um, for for the predictions. And since I I haven't done my uh, final prediction now, so Viper, what is your prediction? You have the the first choice on the team. Oh, this is on the score. this is difficult. I I'm going to say that SDCK is going to take Gully Wash. I'll say I'll say four to three. I'll say this is a close game. Uh, on Viaduct, I think it's going to be the other way around, but we'll we'll talk about that later. All right. Um, S, I think yeah, okay. Um, I take strong opinions then, as they. I don't. Yeah, I think I can try to get these. Yeah, they all have their players basically in the server, and I guess uh, I can guess who is on which side and watch uh, what class. So we have fans on the scout class. A uh, very strong Sixes player also like uh, destroyed people a lot in Highlander. He's still playing. 
very good to see. Also, um, Dima, I think, is playing Soldier, the big Russian man. Then on Pyro class, we have Sinrise, also a really strong player. Um, Ediski, we have Ediski tonight for Strong Opinions. They have used him sometimes, and I don't think if he's actually main demo this season for them. And apparently I was told he is, so big Ediski, big damage. We will see a lot of damage on him. Then Menti, Mentelex, he's definitely a Merc, I think, or at least a sub on, on the Heavy class on Strong Opinions. Then we have the Irish carry sack on the engineer CJ and med medic um oh yeah we have the the na represent boar on sniper and toast on spy as we go over a cck roster after the mid fight as take us away here viper on the first mid fight of galiwash all right a disky is going out pretty early through choke it looks like both demos have chosen to take the choke rollout no picks yet uh looks like Strong Opinions is taking their own side. Both teams taking their own side. Early deaths out of both of the snipers, so this is going to be a DM fight here. And Strong Opinions pushing onto the point. A lot of frags going out on both sides. Sandburn and Sprayer are going to have to back up through choke. Sandburn goes down, and it looks like Strong Opinions is going to take this first mid. But Grenja is lurking under the point. Let's see what he can do. <laughs> both snipers, yeah, going down in the exact same moment. Justice was a bit too to overcome it there, and this is how uh, Strong Opinions won the fight. They just took the ground. Granger gets piped down in Victor there, so no cheeky stabs coming in from him. And we will see now uh, how Strong Opinions want to play. Do they want to push or do they want to hold the big door for 30 minutes? But they have Bo peeking in from main pretty aggressively, actually. Gets a bit pressured, but he has a good sideline there. Always uh, very, very lethal. This guy, as he gets killed by Jackie Lex in the lobby, he was completely alone there. And as I was saying, now, Bo uh, sorry, now Viper, you can experience the full threat of this Victor hold because they are not looking to push in the next 30 minutes. Strong opinions, that is. As Granger is getting his way in fr onto uh, onto River, gets his way into Dima and gets a good pick onto Dima. So this frees up a bit of space. Yeah, there you go, Victor hold. This is very interesting. I haven't seen almost any NA teams holding in this kind of way. I can definitely see how, with Boar just sitting in Big Door, how hard it would be to push out. Uh, but Jackie Legs looking to go for a play. CJ actually pops his Uber. Sprayer as well. It looks like Blue has a little bit better of an Uber. And they're just poking here, seeing what they can get. Actually, three picks going down. Four, six picks. Five picks. Going down four. Strong opinion, so it looks like SDCK is probably going to get the second point off. Dima in with a big bomb. Oh, that was close. Sprayer is going to live here, though. Yeah, pretty good pu uh, push out there from SDCK. Like, Strong Opinion said the worst way. Um, they flashed a bit more and literally just them picking the ground as Boar gets taken down again. I think it was in front respawn from Sandburn. Good streaky trips there. Oh, I think he used to come off in Choke or something. But Boar is down again. He, he is not really um, getting a lot of love here on this map currently. As they are trying, like they are rotating into into choke. As Adiski is coming in here with with the sticky traps, just completely denying any space in Victor. As STCK just get burned into Victor really easily, and Burn just has a free sideline or everything. As Jackie actually tried to jump in, and <laughs> Jackie is still there, and nobody's con he's conching. Why is nobody looking at him? He's onto Adiski. And they were just making so much space. Sinrise goes down to Granger and Boa also gets taken down again by by the Pyro. As Yahoo is on a 5k right now, taking down Dima as well. As Sprayer also went down in the, the midst of that, or I think they used or something, but now CJ has a full Uber advantage, but pretty, pretty decisive fight there from SCCK. Yeah, it looks like CJ is now up on full Uber advantage, but they are stuck at last, so we'll see if they want to push forward, if they are opting to just see if they can... Oh, have people on the point now. Wow, Mayhe gets a lot of time down on the point. And I do not think that Strong, uh, Strong Opinions is going to be able to push out here. Yeah, this is always the wish you have to take. Like, Gali Wash is so hard to push out. And Adiski is actually taking the initiative. They, they have to watch out there. There are only two cards. Sinrise is coming in though, so good, good stuff there from Sinrise. Actually, oh! <laughs> <laughs> the Reflect 5 onto Boa completely demolished again. Boa's not having so much fun currently as Menti also got taken down. But they use in your uh, on funds and on Adiski. They get denied a lot by, by Yahoo though, so they don't get that much done. Yahoo goes down, but now SDCK have the way better Uber and they actually got the, the point. And whoa, Adiski gets taken down and May 
just runs in and says, I'm a Sixes guy, I hit every meat shot, and you go down, and they're probably. <laughs> I mean, he dies, but uh, STCK should definitely take this the sponsor so bad. Fans is carrying, though. Fans is killing the players, and he's actually. How are they holding this? this oh, Fun's coming down with some out. huge picks here. It's interesting that a heavy Uber from SDCK managed to do that much work. It was as a result of all of those people from SDCK getting in off the spaces that Uber made. Not necessarily the heavy getting Ubered, but everyone else walked forward. A very good sort of death ball play like you were describing earlier. Yeah, like uh, also the, the the soldier exchange getting Jackie there out of uh, out of river. So um, definitely that strong opinions have settled again on second as they are. Oh, you can't buff, buff your snap anymore. Boss running uh, razor back, so only 125 for him. But he's speaking into choke currently. So now we experience the amazing stalemate that is we have snipers in each choke, and the sniper is good watching him existing basically. And yeah. It's basically 100% uh, for both teams right now, as SCCK actually, I think, want to take any initiative now. They thought about it. Grand Jungle is down, though, so they're just waiting for the pick classes right now to get anything going. Yeah, I think SDCK had about a 10% advantage. CJ, it seems like he actually knew that. He was playing up in River, and when he got Uber, he dropped down, but... Oh, Jackie is coming in with a huge bomb. Doesn't quite get the force out. And actually... Three players down for Super Dickmans. I wonder if Strong Opinion is going to push. And they are going to Uber in through Choke. Forces the Uber out of Sprayer. Sprayer has the better Uber here, but it looks like Strong Opinion is... No, they're going to back out. So just a, a, a little exchange there. Three players down for Strong Opinions. They have to be careful at Big Door. They can get pressured very easily there because their flank is down. And it looks like Clark is escorting Burn in to Big Door to take a peek. Let's see if he can get a pick here. Dima down to 40 HP. And now May is going in on pick onto Boar. He gets that frag. So no sniper. And Burn is standing in Big Door completely uncontested. Yeah, Boar is getting so much focus and like really good aggression from SCCK. They're playing this Big Door so well. But Big Big they actually from Toast killing Burn frees up a lot of space. And this key goes down to a mini sentry. He gets sticked off by uh, Sand Burn a lot before. But currently. Still, the combo committed to, uh, to Victor here as Fans gets sticked off and Jackie goes down to Hatcher from War. Clark kills Toast in the end, but a bit stabilizing again. Like, there was a small window for SCCK, like, they're always making this huge pressure. It's just a. It's just a basically a whiff of time until they get something with their aggression, but currently, Opinion's pushing into this mid here from Victor and from Choke. Yeah, no demo and Clark the Engineer trapped behind, so pretty easy for Strong Opinions to get in here. Dima coming in with a bomb, Boar coming in with some snipes. Burn is sitting in choke watching, but it looks like SCCK Big is going to there. concede this mid fight. Big force from the SCCK flank in behind, so Spray actually has a full uber advantage now. They can, they're not feeling comfortable though retaking, they have their, like they, they bled a bit too many players there to actually make something, and Boar goes down again, so now in Big Door. Um, Spray is looking really, really comfortable here right now. Disky is on on the point. They're actually capping this. Like they need to contest this. Spray uses Uber on center. It looks like this Uber is going to clean up all of the cappers. Toast still on the point though, getting a lot of point time. He is very, very hurt. He's retreating into SCCK's lobby. So that Uber did save the point, but it did not kill CJ. So CJ has about a 50% add here. Let's see if Strong Opinions wants to move off of that ad into the second point. Yeah, both teams actually playing kind of conservatively aggressively. Like, they always have this aggressive, but they don't actually want to go all in because uh, there's always something happening on the enemy team. Benja is here. Does he full Menti? He, ah, he almost fooled him! Oh, CJ so gets so a he and he drops the Grenja! Oh my god, what a revolver. Revolver is overpowered, nerfed this valve, but yeah, CJ going down here frees up a lot of space and Whoa, big jump in actually from Sentron. Boa goes down again, so a lot of space here right now. Menti also gets taken down. Big headshot from Burn as well. On back Dima cap coming in though. Door. Back cap from Toast. It does not look like he's going to be able to get this off. Funz is coming in to try and stop the point. He's just not enough with that mini sentry and engineer and scout all there to knock him off the point. Dima didn't even bother with Toast. He was just watching and was like, yeah, you won't cap this in time anyway. So he just walked into it. Um, he's taking a lot of ground here actually. and. Burn gets pick on to uh, sec toast takes down sand though so 
it's not going to face um, SCCK, although they are pretty clumped uh, clump up in this, in this choke, but they seem to have, like, getting the ground here as boss still in river and peeking gets the pick on to burn. So, SCCK will probably take this though, as also, oh my god, Boar takes down Yahoo and May as well. A sprayer, Jackie Legs, and Justice all going behind with about a 50% add, I don't think. Oh, Strong Opinions. They do know they're leaving through river. The Uber's coming out on the Jackie legs. Boar is just, he's delaying this whole Uber. <laughs> he's still alive. He finally goes down and CJ escapes with his life. Noble sacrifice there from the sniper man, Boar. Yeah, big sniper pick for, for the locks. But currently SCCK have actually um, like prevented uh, Strong Opinions from again pushing out as the mini sentry of, of Sec is doing its thing. Toast was on to set, but he went down to 8 HP. This was really close. May takes it down uh, Sec though. As Funz tries to get something in the lobby, gets piped though. So now we settle again to this amazing Victor Hold. And STCK is like, hello, strong opinions. We can do the same. How will you do that? As I mean, CJ has 40% advantage, but you don't really want to push out in this position as Granger is trying to make his way in the behind. He's he's onto Sandburn, uh, onto Adisky, sorry. He gets spotted though and probably gets burned to death here yeah, by Sunrise. Yeah, Boar goes down on Strong Opinion's side, so maybe some players are going to try to pressure a bit off this sniper pick. Jackie Legs and May are going to go down though, so no flank for SDCK. They're making their way into um, into river, which is pretty good because they're not contested. Um, Sandpin has the calls though, he has a sticky chop there, they need to watch out. Only Dima takes damage from that though. Funz gets taken down, this might, uh, this might thwart the push a bit as... Ooh, good, good, uh, good man that uh, Menti saw that they, they tried to cheese, uh, SCCK tried to cheese through last there. Because this is what you can do when you hold a big door. Menti goes down to just in the end and strong opinions actually don't cap the point. Big denier there by Jackie Lex. Um, I don't know, it's still looking kind of even, like, either SCCK pushed into last, nor Strong Opinions have pushed out. Strong Opinions are still trying though, Sandman is denying the mental shutout, Dima is coming in. Dima gets piped though, so now Strong Opinions going down with a second hold. Yeah, Sandburn and Grenja trapped behind here, I expect Sandburn to go down fairly soon. He's getting chased by the fully buffed scout funds, and he does go down, so no demo and no sniper for SDCK. Strong Opinions getting in through this big door super quickly, and they're gonna get mid off this too. Yeah, also, slight uber advantage for CJ, like 30% isn't really that much though, especially on Gallywash. I mean, you can make this work, I guess, but so many factors. SDCK are also holding passive. Funz is trying to take the lead here with a bit of with a bit of milk there, just getting the bones stronger, but big jump in from Ediski there, taking a lot of ground, also spamming out burn. Boar gets to pick on to Jackie Lex, so nothing coming in from him. May gets piped down there by, and, uh, by, by Ediski and gets killed by Funz in the end, so no right funds for, aggression for May there. there. Yeah, like, they definitely took a lot of ground, now they're probably going to push in with this number advantage. Yeah, even Ubers here, it looks like they're tanking a Disky on the balcony, looking to get some spam. He's very hurt though, he is going to live. They do take out the Engineer Clark, and Jackie comes in with a huge force, or actually Dima rather, comes in with a huge force on the sprayer. Heavy Uber, this is not going to get anything, and CJ is out safe in Big Door with full advantage. And there's even Jackie behind, so that Jackie will definitely go down here. This is he should probably suicide. And no, he's actually getting out of river. Why are they allowed? Why is Burn there? Like Jackie's, they can't protect him there from anything, but they don't have the classes to jump on river, I guess. And may oh, actually and they do second. get the cap. Shouldn't shouldn't do anything though. As oh, big aggression oh, no. there actually. They drop Menti, and now it's only a Fans Uber. Fans needs to do a lot here, but he's probably not getting anything done. Only four up for strong opinions. That's rough for strong opinions there. I they definitely had the upper hand there and somehow SDCK just won that scrappy fight. They just got players on the cap, they got players in river and that was a, a very clutch play from from SDCK there. Definitely, and they even keep the Uber um in advantage Bo gets the pick onto Burn though, so it should make it very difficult for SCCK to push into a sniper sideline as Granger makes his way in here. Bo spots him though with the Jarati and oh pick Spy MG, yeah, okay, he wasn't even looking at Toss, but Toss wins anyway. Boar gets sick off there, a bit too close. Nobody actually supported him there in Big Door. As SDCK is coming really aggressive, he also picks, uh, gets on Sinrise, so no denial on this. Only probably Burn going, um, not Burn, Boar's down, down as well, so sorry. So easy for um, SDCK as they get the ground here and just basically use the Uber. Don't get any frags, but they get mid secured. 
Yeah, CJ does have full uber advantage here. It looks like they're going to go in and try and stop this midpoint. Adiski gets to draw. That is a... That is very rough. Buns is taking the majority of this uber. It does not look like he's going to get much. And this is just looking like a flip-flop here. Ubers are getting traded, but the point remains for strong opinions. Granger is still in Banana. Have they spotted him? He took down Vaughn. He's still lurking there, I think. Sex spotted him, though. Big, big engineer against the spy. Granger still lives, though, in the, in the back lines. But yeah, like 20, 30% yeah, 30 advantage for Sprayer. Not that much as we get back down again. I mean, we don't have any points kept so far. Adiski goes down to Granger. That's a big pick. Granger gets taken down. But this, you can literally see when the call came in, Demo Man down, and now they're just taking the ground here. Toast gets killed as well, and Burn has a good sideline here. They're going to cap this without even having to use the Uber. They still have 25% advantage. I don't think they will make anything out of this, though. Let's see. Yeah, right now with 15 minutes, a little less than 15 minutes on the clock, we're getting to about the time where both teams are thinking, I do not want to drop around. But Sandburn coming in with the Uber. CJ actually did get it in time. He's singling this Uber on Cinerai, blasting the players out. Clean exchange, no players go down on either side. So we'll see if a dry push comes out or if both teams are going to try and build Uber again. Grenja does go down, as well as Toast, so both spies out of the equation right now. Yeah, like this is going so back and forth and as you were saying, no team actually have kept the point yet, but also no team actually wants to um, wants to do something here as Burn has a pretty good side line as he gets the drop onto CJ. <laughs> Big pick there by Burn and let's see, they still have the aggression though, like strong opinions are still taking this because this is how you do it. I mean, your medic dies, but then again, they just cleaned up the players because you still have aggression, you shouldn't just stop all your aggression even when your med gets killed. So they get to the midpoint and CJ will spawn and even if Sprayer now has the charge, they still, they are even like um, getting them out of seconds, so they are like aggression that has strong opinions even though they dropped um, CJ. Yeah, Sprayer does have full add here, but he is waiting on last. I really, really like that play that Strong Opinions made with the dry push with the banner out of Dima through Big Door. I always love to see teams dry pushing with the banner. I think it's definitely an underused strategy. Yeah, like a lot of soldiers use these in in, uh, in the Ubers rather, but as you were saying, it's really strong just in these off Uber pushes and even if you lose your uber, you still have this aggression forward and you just have the DM and you can just kill players off. And if you don't have any players with you, the uber is not going to be that great. But SCCK are pushing through, through lower here. Sinrise is there to deny it though, so they're not actually getting any ground here right now. As CJ is slowly lurking on this 70% again, so will probably not be a um, comprehensive and decisive fight for um, SCCK anymore, even with the uber advantage. As CJ is going to have his, so we're getting down to a stalemate again with the Victor hold. Amazing. Yeah, it's a very interesting hold that uh, SCCK is doing in lobby here. Sprayer is just kind of standing in upper lobby. If I were him, I'd be very scared of getting forced or sniped if that shutter gets peaked, and he is going to back up to last. Granger is doing some. Uh, Burn gets taken down, so that's probably the key to for strong pains pushing in. Also, Granger goes down, so both pick classes down. They will probably do their uh, push again with um, with a heavy Empire and under. Actually, no, they're switching it up. Menti is on balcony and. Big pipe there on Yahoo. Yahoo can't deny the point anymore. They only have the Uber, and strong opinions haven't even used the Uber yet. They bleed a lot of, like, some players, but they still can do this. And now the big um, Uber comes in onto this and onto funds. They need to control this point here. Sandman will be the key to this. As good cap time, Granger gets picked onto funds though. Sinrise comes in in the end, and Sinrise caps it out. The big pyro man capping it. So 1 0 after, like, 28 min uh, Yeah, 28 minutes or something. So, yeah. 19, okay, I can't count, but anyway, first point to strong opinions, good push there. Yeah, you gotta think uh, that if it takes 19 minutes to get one round, uh, one round's on the board, maybe we can see some turtling plays here. Uh, yeah, okay, like next mid fight, yeah, strong opinions are definitely going, I think they're actually going a bit more aggressive because they will be very confident now Sandman gets taken down early, so that's a big take. Actually, they're all controlling this our big mini sentry set. Um, Dima also taking a lot of ground here. And um, SCCK just were instantly out of this. They didn't want to fight at all because Sandburn is also their main caller. So you lose your demo, but you also lose your main caller. So, and also Strong Opinions just took the high ground and 
currently even taking second without any really aggression as Senfra <laughs> gets picked again by War, just having his number tonight. So, Fans and Sinra is on the point currently as see like a big aggression from Strong Opinions, they're actually not holding into Big Low, they want to push this in, they are like, hungry, they want blood and they want to take STCK another point, War gets taken down, or not maybe that big of a pick actually. Granger gets killed by Fans, it might stagnate here as Strong Opinions are just lurking in the lobby here a bit, not any picks really presenting themselves. Toast is waiting into in river as May gets piped there, gets pretty weak, but yeah, nothing really happening here currently. Yeah, it looks like CJ is bringing his heal beam into river. They might be looking to get an exchange out through river, but it looks like with two players, Toasty and Menti, both going down there, they're thinking better of getting that exchange off, especially now that Adiski has gone down. And SDCK might want to do a little bit of a push here. Maze coming into upper, takes out Dima, Boar goes down as well, and this should absolutely single the signal the push out from SDCK, and they, they are getting out onto the second point. Yeah, oh. they got five picks there before, and EJ was in a really bad position. I did not, I did not know what like strong opinions why they've left there so many players, and SDCK are looking pretty comfortable. The spawns actually came in from strong opinions. And they want to contest this here, they can do this. Um, good aggression there from both Victor and Choke. And Burn also gets spammed out there by Dima. Dima's pretty weak. Bo gets picked by Sandburn. Lots of frags is changing here. Probably better for SCCK in the long run though. Oh, fat direct from Jackie Legs taking out Dima there. And Funz also very hurt and isolated in upper. Gets taken out by Jackie Legs as well. And wow, picks just coming out everywhere for Super Dickmans. A Disky down, no demo, this should be a free midpoint. CJ also has just spawned, so Sprayer's working with about a 70% advantage. They're probably going to be looking to take this in the second as soon as possible. Yeah, definitely. Like now the death balling comes in again. Big uh, aggression actually on Dima here and, and Victor gets immediately spent out. Toast also gets taken down, so no pick classes for strong opinions right now. SCCK will be looking very comfortable right oh, now. Oh, big, big trap. Sneaky trap there from NDC. Thanks on May and Sandburn. That's um, a very smart play. He should. He knew that they were going to try to take their Uber in through lower lore and wrap strong opinions, but it looks like it's still going to happen. Single onto Yahoo. CJ is trapped in river and he's going to go down even with that big play. trap the rap uber still is always the bane of holding upper gully wash on second when you have that, uber disadvantage yeah on the nine second respawn like scc car definitely they if they don't need another three seconds big pick there from toast though burn is in main but there come the respawns from uh, strong opinions and they're probably going to take this like the scck took like two or three seconds too long and now they're getting punished by that for that Wow, um, that is surprising that we didn't see uh, STCK cap last there. I really did think this round was over, but really scrappy defense coming out. Yeah, like, either teams are not actually giving, like, always these big plays. Two pick classes again, though, from Strong Opinions down. I feel like the um, the STCK pick classes are definitely playing more conservatively there. Oh, big, big aggression here from, actually, like, from uh, May. Gunning down a disky there, showing him who has the battle. The as a sixes player, just scout winning and big aggression here actually. Granger takes down Menti, so yeah, like, <laughs> oh wow. Strong Opinions just got absolutely sandwiched there and they are now trapped in behind. And they have a, a big Uber actually, like on Sunrise and Funs that would normally be good classes to Uber on. But what, where are STCK? Are they in lobby? Okay, they're killing off Funs, they're doing that well, but they need to cap, they need to cap second. Yes, CJ goes down here to Clark's mini, and yeah, this is looking very grim for Strong Opinion. Sprayer on 83% add. I wonder if they will take this in right now while the combo from Strong Opinions hasn't spawned, but no, they are going to wait for Uber advantage. Yeah, I, it's, it's the first uh, big thing I'm questioning, now, now they go in, the Sprayer gets forced early and they're not getting anything, Menti is still completely uncontested, and Jackie doesn't have, uh, he has rockets, but he had the conch and nothing was happening there, big, wow, big headshot there from Burn onto the sack, like, and, but he gets retaliated by Burn, but yeah, as you were saying, again, they were just waiting and getting picked off, a lot of frags going on for uh, SCCK though again, but they're, like, this is not something you want to push in, even though they're on a 7 second respawn for strong opinions. 
but uh, Sprayer also got taken down there in the backline, so big 70% uber advantage to CJ, but as you were saying, STCK, like usually they get their aggression down a lot, but um, like really good, but they kind of cringed three pushes there that they could have maybe gotten. Yeah, I think they they definitely want to be aggressive, but they're just having that, that moment of hesitation that can make it difficult. They had a large uber ad, but they also had five players, including the entire combo from Strong Opinions, down. I kind of would have liked to see them just walk in and, and dry push that, even though they were coming up on that advantage. Because once they got the advantage, they had players down and they weren't in a good position. Um, I think SCC are probably trying to make something in the like, Okay, Granger and Burn go down. Like, I could see how... I'm, I'm always mentioning them that like this um, the pick class are going down so often uh, here but uh, apparently SCCK tried to make something with a dry like not a dry push they tried to get something going but this will leave them kind of vulnerable as they don't really have the classes up and they're still holding quite aggressively actually toast onto sandburn sandburn gets the trade onto toast so toast probably going to be very happy with it as Sprayer is locked off now in top and gets pressured by Dima he only has uh, the heavy for a company and this is not going to be the best force uh, the best uber out or SCCK. Yeah, and meanwhile, Funz is just in the backfield causing an enormous distraction. He really does just sort of walk in and, and make things happen all by himself, and he's almost got the second point cap along with Dima. He's going to be forced off. Dima is popping his banner. Uh, yeah, Menti tried to make something happen there. Big reflect by, uh, from Yahoo before they're taking down the disc here. Now the force comes in again. It's only CJ and, and the Pyro. I mean, Dima is there as well, but they're probably going to be sticked off here. Big jump in from Jackie Legs kills, Sinra, uh, kills CJ, and Sinra gets killed by Yahoo there, showing who the superior Pyro is. Now they're going to cap. And now Viper, tell me, will they uh, push on this fourth occasion? Probably not, though, because they are kind of slow on the cap and they didn't actually have their numbers up, so. That's that's kind of unfortunate again, like it's not even their fault they can't push off this, but they got so many frags there even though it still evens out because Brad doesn't actually have an advantage here. Yeah, it always hurts to hit tab and, and see that most of the other team's dead, but know that you can't really push in and take that advantage, so it looks like it's going to stabilize with strong opinions holding last tier. Ubers are about even. And uh, the time is ticking down. Three minutes and 18 seconds left, and Super Dickmans is down one. So they're going to need to cap in three minutes at least once to be able to tie this game up. Yeah, I mean, pressure is definitely on them. They, they will be happy probably, but the, the problem is now that they probably also have in the back of the head. Yeah, we, we kind of throttled uh, some last pushes, and like usually you a bit content there as Dima gets piped and Ediski gets the retaliation factor onto Vern, but yeah, currently SCCK definitely need to make their next Uber work. They only have like two Ubers uh, left in their book if they don't actually get pushed out, so they're trying to make something from River here, and Jackie is just whipping his big heavy there. Big pick though from Toast. He'll send an end guns down Maze, so this is definitely not going to be a push by SCCK. Yeah, it looks like SDCK does still have time for about two Ubers into last, and I, if I were them, I would definitely be thinking in terms of how many Ubers can I get off. What I what I don't want to see here is SDCK just kind of poking and sacking a couple players or one player over and over a, until the time ticks down, and then they only have one Uber exchange left in them. I'm Look hoping. At position, please. What? What? I, I don't understand this. He's now he went alone into river. Now he's completely alone. He's behind them. And this, this is a classic help. boar play right here. Okay. Will he get a, a 9k from this position? He's going to mid. Interesting. Um. So now we will see the <laughs> push probably as. Okay, big picks actually again. Um, just leading the players of SCCK out from opinions that is, as there is even a backup from Boy. He gets the pick onto Clark. NG of the season down, ladies and gentlemen. As Toast gets a big backstep onto Sprayer. So well, that was that push, and I don't think uh, strong opinions will put out though. So SCCK still have one last chance. Fans gets a lot of pressure there onto Boy. Probably kills him in the end. No, he beefs his shots a bit, but yeah. Sorry, I think it's going to be very happy with this current disposition. Yes, definitely what I did not want to see happen was just uh, SDCK waiting too much for the perfect moment. And if you wait too much, then eventually 
a, a spy like Toast or, or a sniper like Boar is going to make you pay for it, and that is what happened. 55 seconds though, left on the clock. It looks like Sprayer will get this Uber before the time is done. Yeah, they don't. <clears throat> they need to prevent this thing though, where they bleed all of their players before push, which, which has happened. Now, Big Sap uh, comes in and actually Gun gets taken down. They make it a bit of pressure here. The <laughs> Granger gets through, but uh, good Uber management there, I guess. But uh, Granger gets piped down in the end. Sprayer is always. Oh, oh no, Sprayer goes down to funds! This is probably the nail in the coffin right oh, now. But Justice and Jackalikes coming up onto the point. CJ down. 22 seconds left on the clock. Sandburn is under the point right now. Buns knows he's on. Sandburn takes him out. Burn is the only one at last right now. But 14 seconds left. There is still time for the fast classes of SDZK to get in here. But there are six players up from Strong Opinions. And they are all protecting this last point. Yeah. And <laughs> Sprayer is in. Oh, he ruins his locks for just this medic gameplay. But yeah, there we go. First map goes to Strong Opinions 1 0. And. STCK are probably not going to be very happy about this and as you were saying like they they let players there constantly but I also want to add that strong opinions definitely noticed that and they they had this kind of aggression where you kind of go forward because you you want to take the fight in your favor you don't want to be completely the victim of the enemy team taking initiative on you and try to spam them a bit more aggressive than you would even though like you don't want to risk dying but that's what happened. They kind of always picked the players off, even though maybe SCCK players weren't that aggressive. But yeah, in the end, it definitely worked out for strong opinions. Yeah, I think I think really just the difference uh, that one round, I think the difference that made that one round was just the fact that strong opinions, when they wanted to do that aggression, they committed, they, they didn't hesitate. And I think there was just a little bit of hesitation on SDK, SDCK's side even though they, they were going for those aggressive plays, they, they saw the openings, but there was always just maybe a little bit of second where they, they waited for something or, or they, they took a little bit too long. And, uh, and that's that one round right there. Uh, we quickly have a, a quick poke on the, on the locks there, uh, Viper, and big, big surprise. I have to surprise you now. Uh, all seat, um, the sixes classes, Fans, Adiski, the scout, and the demo man together with the sniper. Uh, Boa top fragging on their respective classes, as yeah, that's a pretty a pretty big surprise, isn't it, on a sixes map? Um, Granger though, uh, Sandman and Granger are pulling a lot there for SCCK and uh, frag wise. But in general, I would say um, a lot of frags there actually going down. But this was just due to aggression. And as you were saying, I think it mostly boiled down to this kind of uh, little hesitation moment where when they would have actually made that work for SCCK, then they definitely could have maybe even taking the map, but they kind of thwarted some of their last pushes and Strong Opinions just get the early lead in the in the round and this is basically what happened. What do you else see, just as we quickly, we don't want to linger about numbers. I don't know how you feel about locks, but I, I don't like locks anyway because, I mean, also because my KD was always really bad, but also because numbers don't mean that much. But yeah, what do you see? What are the stories, quickly? Well, I, I think it's just, you know, a story of, of 5 CP and, and the 6 classes from Strong Opinions, you know, doing their job. The one notable thing that, that I would say is uh, for as much as Funz kind of held W into the other team and just made a lot of space, he, he really didn't die that much. So it's nice to see that he's able to make those plays and, and get away with his life to, to be effective uh, in, in the aftermath of his own space that he's making. So that's always good to see. Um. Yeah, anyway, so before we get into the next amazing map, as I think we will probably get pretty soon because I I can already feel strong opinions are hyped. They know they can take this. They are the long-term team here. SCCK are also a long-term team, but a bit a bit newer compared to strong opinions, but they want this revenge. They don't they are angry for this for this map that they probably think they should have been theirs, but anyway, they are roster for tonight as we didn't actually in, mentioned it yet is May H on the scout class, Jackie Lex on Soldier, um on Pyro we have Yahoo. On the demo man we have uh Sandburn, the main caller and former heavy for SCCK. Then on Medic we have Sprayer. Sprayer is uh, Sprayer never uses he only forces to a rocket with uh, to a soldier without rockets in the air. So now I have that meme off the charts. Anyway 
on Sniper we have Burn and on Spy we have Granger Bob, Granger, former Spy for Big High Panda. So yeah, now we're on product, man. Viper, be hyped for the pick classes. <laughs> I I'm so hyped for just when when there's no choke in between the two teams and they get to to shoot at each other. That's always exciting. Definitely. Um, it's also again, yeah, uh, one team already. Who is the team that made ready? I wanted to see because I want to see who is. Maybe they were also um. I wanted to see who is more hungry for for blood. I guess you're not hungry for blood, but you you get the reference. Anyway, we're going live now, and let's see who will take this map, who will be more productive on this map as we will go to the first mid find. Both medics on Uber actually. We haven't actually seen a single crits yet, as a disky is rolling out on the left side uh, on cliff. But Sandburn, Sandburn is quicker there on the rollout, showing uh, a disky and getting a lot of. Uh, Damage there in main. Jackie, big jump in from Jackie. He doesn't actually get, take any damage. Jackie's in behind. And Disky gets taken down by Burn. Big aggression on Minty. Minty's alone forward. Spray gets taken down by, uh, by Toast. But a lot of aggression there for um, strong opinions right now. As both teams actually like even up. Like a lot of picks going down there. But SCCK just got more ground. But they. No, both medics actually died. So never mind that. Yes, yeah, CJ did go down there somewhere in the chaos to a Girati pill, that large 130 damage pipe there, and uh, actually no one has capped the point. Uh, CJ, CJ has capped. <laughs> yeah, who is onto a disky? And why, why is the pyro even in the game? Why is the class book it's taken down by Burn there and May gets to pick onto Toast? So a lot of frags going into the uh, favor of SCCK, even though if the Oh no, this was all initi uh, initiated, I mean, by, by Yahoo, and CJ is alone there on the right side as his entire combo dies around him. He rolls out with a Disky now, but Granger is still on the lock on Cliff, maybe we'll get something going. His <laughs> Dima kind of craters there. Borg gets uh, a pick on to Sandburn the demo, this could... Oh, but Grenja with the counter demo pick. Yeah, definitely the, the, the pick class is pulling a lot here currently. Jackie is on the cliff though, and May as well, like... They uh, the flank there from SCCK tried to make something happen. Both go down though, so four down for SCCK, and nobody down for strong opinions. And strong opinions looking to make this. This is definitely not the position spare I wanted to pop in. It's only Yahoo on the right side. Good reflect there on Dima, but Yahoo will get taken down, and Justice is completely alone behind the point. As oh, Sprayer gets down to a body shot. CJ is so weak though, and just gets stepped by Toast like so much chaos here. The double jump in comes in onto CJ. CJ is down so incredibly low, but he gets out on the right side on Cliff. And wow, this was just amazing aggression from both teams there. But strong opinions currently holding the point. Yahoo is onto the sniper. Yahoo gets four down, but a disky goes down to Granger. What are these? Like so many frags again. This is incredible. Yeah, such chaos going down, but through all of it, CJ does live and he does have that advantage. Another sack wave coming in, Jackie Legs, and a fat sticky from Sandburn, comboing down, getting that drop onto CJ, and Strong Opinions is going to lose this point. Sprayer with about a 70% add by the time CJ is going to spawn. Definitely, and as you were saying, you were wondering what how Burn gets taken down there. I want to say Toast tried to, uh, to make something on concrete happen. I think he's on cloak and dagger, so both spies are playing kind of conservatively as Granger gets sticked off in main though. So um, Sprayer still has the uber advantage though, so CJ need to watch out here yeah, though. The, uh, Sprayer gets actually forced, I think, or something. I feel like they were a bit off and they're probably not going to get the pick here. Yahoo only getting Menti down as Sandburn gets a, uh, a jump onto the enemy China. He's weakish in main though. As Sprayer gets killed by fans in the back line somewhere. So, wow, and, but CJ, CJ gets taken down by Burn by the Machina body shot. And, and Burn is just incredible, like, if we got this on camera, someone please uh, have, a, have a Patreon now or like a petition and ban this kid, please. Um, but anyway, <laughs> who gets ticked off by a disc there? What do, what do you see, Viper? Like, this is so much frank, like, the, the point is going... Everywhere, I, I can't even. I mean, both both Ubers are, are the same, so that's a constant factor right now. Sandburn is still an aggressive, but yeah, it's getting a bit, it's getting a bit more calm again. I mean, this is the type of viaduct that I like to see. I don't want to see the viaduct where both medics die five times and 
you know, it's just a slow game. I want to see the medics just getting jumped constantly, getting sniped. You know, the type of crazy DM fights that make people want to play Viaduct every season in a row. Just remove every map, honestly, and just play a product all the time. As Borg gets taken down by Burn, like Granger gets killed, and the back lines. Burn has a big uh, position here right now, the onto rock. As CJ is getting aggressive with a Disky, a Disky definitely calling. Let's go aggressive. Big pipes down to Justice. Justice really lit behind the point. A Disky goes down to a big headshot from Burn, though, and May goes oh. absolutely crazy as Jackie just absolutely destroyed CJ there with an amazing jump. And Sandburn is looking to get aggressive here. Do we see our first forward hold? No! He's alone in and gets killed because they're well, not really on the same wavelength there and May kills Dima, but big pick there and just so many picks down again, but STCK are looking really good with only 10 seconds left, so strong opinions definitely need to make this Uber and Namo advantage right now work. It's not even Uber advantage, it's only Namo advantage. Toast gets the big pick onto Justice, but yeah, strong opinions are looking to cap off this point as they are getting into a pass, so I guess this is a bit too fast for European teams, but insane round what we saw, but Strong Opinions was behind one and a half minutes, so they definitely need to pull a lot here to win this round. Yeah, interesting interesting choice by Boar, I'm just noticing he's actually on Razorback. So, I know in NA, Razorback is banned, in ETF2L it is allowed, but it has been nerfed heavily recently, so... Interesting that Boar would choose to go Razorback on this map and not be able to have that buff that's so important for counter sniping. Maybe he just has confidence that uh, he'll be able to out snipe Burn, or maybe he, uh, maybe the spy Grenja is just, you know, maybe tunneling him a little bit. I have to say though, I, I mean, we did on the logs, uh, we didn't look at the healing percentage what the players received, but as I also pointed out a bit in the last map, I felt like Boar was dying a lot more than Burn. I don't know if this was only a feeling, but I definitely, yeah, as I was saying, I felt like it. I didn't look at the numbers, but also um, considering a Disky plays uh, with CJ, like a Disky is a carry by himself, but I feel like um, CJ is probably pumping a bit more heals into a Disky, so I don't know what's going around that, but yeah, like. Definitely, as you were saying, it's probably a big difference as I don't think Burn is uh, running Razorback, so he has the constant buff uh, going in his favor. Yeah, playing with Boar for many, many, many seasons, I, I can say it's definitely characteristic of him to uh, to just say, you know what, I don't need that buff, I can take out that other sniper. But uh, it looks like we're going to unpause quite shortly here. Sprayer... Uh, is reconnecting to the server. He did drop uh, from the server earlier, so hopefully the unpause will come out shortly as Sprayer is coming back in as we speak. Sprayer dropping, another kind of scenario people uh, are... Even though um, both medics, actually, I want to point it out as well, before on the map only dropped once, so both medics also with incredible uh, healing percentage and um, healing points, so definitely a lot of damage to heal out of um, the players but as we are um as we are seeing anyway we haven't seen a forward hold yet how is that handled in in an a as we are just waiting for spread to reconnect because i feel like strong opinions might need to um be a bit more aggressive uh, against stck and maybe try to hold a bit forward on um on the enemy cliff i would say in na forward holds on product are almost never a thing that you really see uh at least in the perspective of the teams that I've played on, it's always just a question of is it worth it to position your medic so forward that, uh, you know, if the other team f f death balls through one door and gets their sniper out and, and just gets a, a free shot onto your medic, it's just a little bit too dangerous. At least uh, that's been the mindset. Yeah, as we are <clears throat> getting back into the game, I probably need to... Uh, uh to retry as yeah now we are live again and uh, through this pause now the timer has almost ticked down completely for strong opinions but this is obviously a demo bug but as I was saying they're actually doing the forward hold so I didn't jinx it and Burn gets taken down by Menti because of the forward hold so good aggression there as also Sentry gets taken down so no aggressive jump forcing CJ in this current situation he doesn't even have the Uber anyway but oh big picks though taking down Funs and Toast so this might open up the flank a bit as yeah, strong opinions are trying like backing out again because they lost uh, left the lost sorry English hard language they lost the entire left flank there but 
big Uber currently onto a Disky. They kind of got forced there, I feel like, because the Disky is now getting taken down by Yahoo. They got a lot of frags, but um, <laughs> as, uh, I think he got whipped. No, Jackie is, is Jackie burning to death. He's on one HP. Oh my god, this was so close. Um, but anyway, SCCK are actually not in the in the number advantage currently as Toss gets a big step onto Justice and Granger gets spotted on the right side, gets taken down as well. So strong opinions are looking good here. May does have the heal. Oh, big pick. No, Toss. Okay, Toss didn't pick, but Force comes out now from Sprayer. So as SCCK are capping the point and big jump in there from Ediski, they have to get on the point now because this is definitely um, dire time here right now for strong opinions, but they will not get it. And first round goes to SCCK. Yeah, that is what uh what I was worried about with the forward hold from CJ. He got trapped out a little bit too close to the point, and uh, and he was forced to pop that Uber in a suboptimal position, and and off that, SCCK takes that round. Now we'll come into the second mid fight here. A Disky choosing to roll out under China, while Sandburns uh, rolling out on the left side, doing large damage behind the point. Funds down to half HP. As Grenja prepares to decloak, Yahoo's running forward and CJ is Jiradied. So much chaos going on here. CJ is backed up all the way to his own cliff with Grenja chasing him out. Sprayer does live, and it looks like SDCK is going to win this first mid fight. They're going to establish burn on the point. Sprayer does live, but I think Sprayer probably might have raised his voice there a bit because this was such an incredible jump by Dima. It was insane that he then got it, but he got amazing uh, damage down to Sprayer. Burn gets pressured here by Fanz, and Fanz is probably going to take him down pretty early pop actually from Sprayer as gets completely denied there by the Red Pyro. Sinra is doing a great job, abs absolutely shutting SCCK out of this point, and they actually got a, f a Frax and the tail end of that. So, strong opinions quickly recapping this after the one mid fight of SCCK. Yeah, I was very surprised actually that Strong Opinions was able to get back in so quickly. Uh, they saw maybe some players were down from SDCK and they wanted to take in that exchange very quickly and they, they get that point back. Once again, that aggression with no hesitation working out really well for Strong Opinions. Yeah, as we've seen them before, they're not, um, they're not holding back and currently even Uber, um, even Ubers for both teams as um, Jackie gets killed by Dima there on the flank, so I think SCCK tried to make something happen on the flank, but Sandman is getting really weak there, and Granger is in, but he's on like he's on two HP. Let's see if he can get the big frag. He's de he's decloaking in the most in the most common spot for a spy ever to decloak. He gets killed by Sec there, but I mean it's always this this false friend. I I know this, but yeah. Anyway, he wasn't rich. He couldn't make anything big happen probably in the situation. Jackie's jumping here onto Dima. Dima gets. Oh, they're all so weak all the time, and Jackie gets killed off at the tail end, and Dima survives with getting nice arrows and healing uh, points again to CJ. As currently, strong opinions are looking pretty confident here on this round. Yeah, even Ubers here. Boar, uh, Boar gets the pick onto Burn, who is peeking lower cliff, trying to get some sort of opening. Boar is now just very forward on the boxes, taking some shots, and uh, Sprayer looks like he's going to pop this Uber off on Sandburn. Or is very low, does go down to the Uber, but CJ forces on a Disky with a much better Uber. He's probably going to put it on funds and try to chase out SCCK, but no. Okay, now the re-aggression coming. It looks Big like damage, Strong Opinions yeah. is doing huge damage here. Justice goes down, Burn goes down, Sandburn goes down. Strong Opinions is going to hold this point, and they're sitting pretty with two minutes already off the clock for them. Could wonderfully see how like um, the the two flanks like they used concrete and they used main to get the disky and D mine. I don't think they actually got these that many frags, but they um, got so much damage and that just enabled the rest of the team to get frags. As they're currently holding forward again, Sandman gets picked by Boar though, and they rotate a bit back, so they got the pick onto Boar and all. Uh, sorry, onto um, uh, someone else uh, onto Sandburn, I think, and onto Jackie, yeah. But Bo gets uh, pistol down there by Granger as he gets uh, cleaned off by Funz in the end. But currently, Strong Opinions are still looking good. But they're kind of their players done. I don't know if they want to take this Uber exchange. They want that they drop a Disky. That's so unfortunate. And I think Funz gets trapped in behind as well. Great, uh, great stuff there by May and Yahoo, just completely recognizing what was happening. And amazing aggression now from SCCK and just absolutely, absolutely wrecking Strong Opinions there with the superior Uber and just with separating the players that were in the Uber, as I think CJ also got uh, killed in the tail end of that, so Spray is going to have a 30% advantage. 
Yeah, very, very smart play by uh, CJ and the rest of Strong Opinions to pop with a 10% uber add. Even better play though, Sprayer surviving, but now Strong Opinions getting a lot of players on this point. They're, they're have it almost fully capped. Sprayer also goes down to four, and it doesn't look like SDCK is going to be able to stop this point from being capped. Strong Opinions ties it up 1-1. We have got a game on our hands. Definitely, Alex. Uh, as you were saying, like it was not a bad pop, it was only unfortunate that they dropped the Ziski and then they separated funds very well, but in the end, Strong Opinions had so much time anyway and they only needed to cap once. So it was definitely working out in their favor as we got the third mid fight against Sandburn. Again, way quicker sticking off main there and just denying a bit of entrance. But funds also gets flamed by Yahoo a lot. Jackie's in! Jackie instantly bombs and gets CJ and Sinrise, so absolutely negates any heals for strong opinions currently. As Ray is just holding down the rock, Menti also gets picked off. This is an easy midpoint here for STCK as also Granger pistols down burn and Sek uh, gets the little the little relegation um, price there onto uh, onto May I think. But yeah, SCCK have the Uber advantage. Maybe they want to, to hold aggressive now. Now they're not actually doing that. Sandman is why is he? I don't know why he's so aggressive alone. He gets the kill on the disc though. I guess that works out. Uh, Strong pains maybe not recognizing that Sandman was a bit too aggressive there. But anyway, really good uh, for SCCK as they say big big there from Boar. Absolutely taking the head of Sprayer. Oh no, it's dropped from Sprayer and now the counter aggression tries to make something happen but the CJ is not happening though. So they're not actually getting the force and they're bleeding some players and now Phoenix can probably even cap this without having to use the Uber. Oh, but Burn yeah, they the counter pick on by the CJ. Anyway. <laughs> wow. These snipers are just making huge plays there. You gotta think with uh, with the boar's snipe onto Sprayer that uh, maybe something got lost in translation there. Burn was fighting boar in a counter snipe battle, and uh, and Sprayer was just kind of standing there. We, they knew that boar was on China. Somehow he got that pick anyway. But Burn at least able to equalize, and uh, STCK is going to get the point off that. Yeah, Burn was definitely on fire on this uh, fight, but Toast definitely recognized it and kind of sandwiched him from behind, so therefore he's going down. Um, currently, though, uh, Sprayer has only 20% advantage, but they are in the front in the time stakes almost uh, one minute again if they are just uh, holding this a bit more here as CJ gets. May, may recognizes this though, can't get any um, can't get any shots really onto CJ as Sad Ben also gets taken down. Granger gets taken down, so maybe they don't even have to use the Uber here, but let's see. Um, Esprea uses onto, onto Yahoo, but CJ still haven't popped this because he didn't even have it yet, but now he is popping, and let's see. Yahoo is denying them really well in main though, but now the funds that is the Uber comes in, it's over, but maybe they can make something, or they need to make something working, happening by words, but so many frags here currently, um, as strong opinions though, ending up on top. Toast gets Sprayer in that exchange as well, so CJ is probably going to have about a 50% add by the time Sprayer spawns. Uh, Strong Opinions is behind by about a minute, actually a little bit over a minute though, in terms of point time, so SCCK does have time to run some sack waves here, try and get this Uber out of CJ, maybe even get a drop. Uh, especially with Boar down, that gives us a lot of space for the pick classes. And the flank classes from SCCK as Jackalate comes in with a huge bomb. Doesn't get close to CJ though. Yeah, currently they kind of oh <laughs> big Jarati they are onto. Oh CJ gets sick! I want to say big Jarati, but I don't like Burn doesn't even care. Headshot is instant kill anyway, so CJ gets taken down. I think it was even a drop, so Burn again turning up so incredibly. Um, strong here on this map as Spray has 80% advantage. Strong opinions are going to cap this, but let's see how. I mean, SCCK are back, but only to preserve their Uber advantage, and they're still one minute uh, um, ahead in the time stakes, so they can actually uh, afford to make this. They just need to take down Boar probably, because even if you have a complete Uber advantage, you still need to kind of cover ground. As we already saw, like Ranger was making a bit of um, getting a bit of damage there onto Boar to phase him out, and now the. Uh, Uber gets popped in onto center and not actually getting that much, uh, mostly ground though. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> big jumper! Big jump in from center there. Yeah, CJ all the way out to spawn on that Uber. He was thinking, no chance am I going to die to this. I need to preserve this Uber ad. Uh, as the clock is ticking down, 40 minutes on the clock for, or 40 seconds rather, on the clock for SDCK, 
But CJ is up on that uber advantage, 70%, and he's going to have it by the time the game is ticking down. Ford does go down, though, and Burn is standing tall on those boxes, getting buffed, and uh, CJ's going to have to get a really nice uber here for Strong Opinions to take this point. You can wonderfully see how um, the teams actually like tell their spice of the spice because the side's division recognized this epic bombs actually before I come back to this big bombs in from both soldiers. A sprayer absolutely gets annihilated by Dima there. It is absolutely incredible what these like um the sorry, what was that the, uh, no Dima destroyed sprayer and the other soldier I can't actually uh, Jackie forced the Uber onto CJ. But yeah, strong opinions in the in the lead Sinrise gets picked by Burn, like strong opinions in have the point, but only four seconds to go for STCK. At uh, as I was saying, like the initiative, you can always see the spice going in for the snipers uh, before the Uber comes in from both teams. So really good coordination there. As currently, again, let's see if strong opinions can do this better now to just keep the aggression of STCK. As May was in behind, gets picked though, um, gets dealt by, but they bleed a bit of players here again, uh, SCCK, as just strong opinions are controlling all this ground and just spamming people out, toasts onto Burn, Burn gets buffed in main though, so gets out, uh, okay, yeah, I mean he gets out, he gets completely out to respawn, I guess he spawns with full health, but he's out of the fight for another 5 seconds. Yeah, just a lot of bleeding from SCCK here, Boar especially just taking some huge plays, making a lot of, uh, getting a lot of time for his team. Spare, it looks like, will get this Uber though before it ends, so we will see an Uber exchange shortly. Uber gets forced out onto funds from CJ. It doesn't look like they're going to get anything with this, and the Uber comes out from Sprayer onto Yahoo and Sandburn. Going to get Sinrise with this, and Boar. It looks like they're probably going to be able to cap this point as well. Yahoo deep onto a Disky, a Disky, oh, he hits a really nice pipe. That could be a game-saving play from a Disky. Funs, Funs got the pick onto Sprayer, so now Toast on the point, so they haven't even kept it. And now the um, the heals come in with a Disky and Menti, and they are probably going to cap this out because, I mean, they still have the slower response, but it didn't matter because they played this really well. They just kind of co played conservatively with a new response, with fresh blood as they take the, the lead with a 2-0, and just got um, buffs with CJ, and just, you know, like the players that were forward, kind of uh, got the frags and then the new wave came with the new health uh, and the big health up. So they just played this pretty good there in the end and going up in the lead as Sandburn is the first one to mid again. Yeah, Disky choosing to take a little bit more of a passive mid. Uh, he is very healthy though. Jackie Legs and Sandburn both going down. CJ and Disky pushing up the left side of the point. Sprayer goes down to Boar. So now it, we should see an all-out sack from SDCK onto CJ, but no one with the capability to jump or run fast is alive, and CJ is going to be safe with that full Uber ad. Only one up there, only Clark there surviving for SDCK. Very comprehensive uh, fight there uh, for Strong Opinions. And now they're actually going to hold aggressive a bit. Even though no CJ can't decide, no team let's not hold aggressive, because they can probably jump us from main. And, the, yeah, and there comes the jump, like this is uh, instantly just a jump from Sandpen, he doesn't actually get that, he gets a lot of damage, but it's probably going to be healed up. Big, uh, now big picks though, uh, from the flank, like Concrete, the power of Concrete, they are absolutely shining only for up for strong opinions. Like this is definitely how you could see SCCK uh, taking a lot of ground there and just working a lot uh, around Concrete. Yeah, CJ choosing to back up with that full uber, Good choice by him, did not want to pop it on his back foot with no classes that could chase. And they still do, actually no, they will not have advantage because Sprayer is coming up on Uber. I don't know if they know that, they pop in super early and Sprayer is getting a much better Uber with here. On to Yahoo and Sandburn, chasing forward onto CJ, but CJ is going to escape out of the back of house. Good picks coming out from SDCK though, Or is down. So no capability for Strong Opinions to push back onto this point just yet as Ubers have equalized. Burn with the huge collateral takes out only funds, but it is the noise <laughs> that counts, not if you get two kills. The noise is what you need. Yeah, definitely. This is how... Oh, CJ gets taken down by Granger there. This is the noise. I mean, he didn't have... You know, Viper, this is how you actually do it. Like, you don't always kill the medic. This is also why you feed Sarsip, so you can get the drop, because the noise is what counts in the end. The big fizzling when you kill a medic. But 
Ooh, Sandburn there gets picked by uh, Boar, but before also Bo uh, Burn got a big body shot onto Adis uh, Adiski, but he's up again Adiski, so now they're getting aggression here, Adiski wants to take this forward, Menti though gets killed by Burn and is getting dominated actually by Burn and by Sprayer, Jackie gets killed there by Dima on the flank, as Granger makes a lot of pressure, they're onto sack actually pistols him down, Funz gets reflected there by Yahoo, uh, so much carnage going on again, and STCK are looking to reap, ah this Uber, oh what they is that Uber? Ah. Uh, they didn't actually have the... Yeah, also CJ got a sound to Granger, so even getting even closer now uh, with the Uber advantage again. CJ has 75% and Sprayer kind of was off there. A bit of uh, the communica communication and coordination there on SCCK as they literally just popped for nothing. Yeah, Sprayer now at about 30%. CJ is coming up on that full Uber. Huge advantage. It looks like he wants to take this in. Bun's a little bit too far ahead of... CJ, yeah, it does not look like they're going to take a scout uber in here. Sprayer is back to spawn, completely safe. And CJ is still holding that large uber advantage, though. About 50%. Uh, Sprayer is going to have to build uber to be able to get even. It looks like they might have time for some sacks here. Or, uh, you know, for... Oh, yep, and Jackie comes <laughs> out on CJ. It doesn't yeah. quite get him. Definitely, like we have forward to it again. They <laughs> this time they think, okay, okay, something sacked in. It didn't get me, but maybe, maybe get out anyway because maybe we're not that comfortable in this position anymore. Um, but yeah, currently uh, strong opinions are getting close to the um, time of SCCK again. <laughs> Dima, no, Dima at the little corner where he jumped again, so he actually couldn't get out, so he gets killed. Jackie's in behind Viva. He's going to. Oh, big, big uh, aggression here. As Menti's eating a sandwich in the worst uh, position for him, but. Big, uh, big Uber exchange currently, as Strong Opinions have the better Uber though. Granger gets a big pick onto Menti, frees up a lot of space here. As the Disky just gets a ton of damage on Concrete, just literally salvages this entire thing by himself. Toast comes in though, Toast is on, onto Clark, big MGE, no Toast! Ah, oh, he shows Clark who the man is with the revolver, and Burn is still aggressive, gets immediately killed there by Dima. And yeah, SCCK kept in this Viper, but Strong Opinions are looking good here. Yeah, Sprayer did go down in that chaos as well. Uh, he does not have the point, so he will get that fast respawn, but CJ still up on about a 20% uber advantage. He has even more uber advantage now, as Dima just had an insane jump onto Sprayer in main and absolutely predicted what you just said. Like, Sprayer got out, but doesn't matter when you got Dima on your team and he's just bombing in. And now, SCCK fleet players again. They have burned oh, the great. Oh, great! Woo! A stab off the spy is all it takes to take down CJ. Amazing. Class. Really nicely timed decloak right there. Just waited for that pyro to turn around for just a second and he takes that super close decloak onto CJ. That is a huge play. That could be a round saving play out of Grenja as Sprayer is now up on Uber advantage, bringing that, those heals to the point, but they need to cap the point preferably before it reaches overtime. And Dima does come in to try and delay the point, and they do get off the overtime, so Strong Opinions only needs to cap this point one time, and they will be the winner of this map. I think, I think our oh, big, big headshot there by Burn actually thought it's any aggression from Strong Opinions, but I think Dima was actually going for the bomb there, maybe he could have... Um, uh, onto Sprayer, I mean, maybe he could have coordinated a little bit, but Jackie's in onto CJ! CJ is so weak! But Yahoo's on the point, CJ tries to go for a saw, but wow, the cap just immediately gets taken off there. Just, I don't know, SCCK players are just getting overwhelmed with the aggression there of strong opinions. And as strong opinions are going 6 0 up in this match tonight, as taking all the points from SCCK. So, actually, that's a little bit of an upset, even because. SCCK in the last two seasons, both times champion and beating Strong Opinions, but Strong Opinions taking it back here with a big 6-0 on this map, Viper. Yeah, I, I was honestly, I was very impressed by, by how much Strong Opinions is just able to, to get in with those plays onto the medic and really just uh, good coordination with their, their flank classes, their spy, you know, going in. We didn't really see... Toast's name in the kill feed too much, but he was definitely getting those plays where it counts and coordinating with his uh, his team there. And you do see him actually fragging pretty hard. Uh, 
and he's still using the ambassador. Apparently, he does want to see those saddening 30 damage headshots pop up on his screen, but he he, he does come out with uh, with 25 kills, which is always good to see. But but that way, I think um, that way you can even get more headshots. You know, it must have been a bit of frustrating maybe for Toast before. Like I can only take three headshots on a 300 HP heavy. I want to farm more headshots, so now I have. 10 headshots or something before I take down this heavy so it looks good on the locks. But yeah, as you were saying, um, actually good coordination there again, um, coming in funds, they are top fragging and what sticks out to me there are the uh, 10 soldier kills and the 7 scout kills. So it's probably, I mean funds got in a lot of ubers but he also I think did a great job denying um, concrete in just the flank in general and just stopping the aggression from SCCK that they were so prominent and are still so prominent for kind of in its tracks really. Yeah it's always you know there are the sexist players with the with the really good DM uh, and but it's always a question of you know whether or not they'll be able to use that DM like really really well in Highlander uh, and Funz is just one of those players that uh, he's got that DM, that that just you know game-winning crazy DM, but he also has that you know that Highlander brain, and he definitely just puts up huge numbers in both halves. So it's always good to see that. Definitely, as again, just quickly, only pointing out one last thing. Again, only one drop drop of each medic, so both medics actually dropping the same amount, which is quite impressive. Like. Because Sprayer is always uh, prominent for being very passive, but CJ also being very well protected. Even though I think he had this one season, he's probably chastising me after that if I say something like that, where he no drops. But anyway, now we move away again from the from the unimportant numbers that um, mostly DM players, I don't know, be very happy about. I wanted to say a different word, but I just realized that we are not past midnight or something. So um, players are very happy about their numbers, basically. So, as yeah, as I was saying, six out there for uh, strong opinions against SCCK. Really close game there. As I also cheekily want to point out that um, you always can support us, kind of um, investing our voice tonight. Uh, you know, we have a little Patreon. You can check that out, and I don't know, um, do something with your money. <clears throat> yeah, you know, Viper. Do you know we actually get uh, funded here in Europe? Uh, as casters, we 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 get uh, more money than the teams that are winning the leagues. Anyway, so um, we also have uh, just wanted to say we also have some games still coming up from UGC uh, Platinum from the European UGC Platinum that is um, on Monday. So tomorrow, guys, immediately we have coming in the the big finals between Fela, who are still completely without any uh, loss in Platinum against Gimme opponent. And yeah, it was great tonight. It was great casting, amazing match there, really back and forth, really close and clutch teams and both teams with incredible plays. I'm really happy um, also to have you here tonight. Viper was amazing casting with you, especially because it was uh, the first time. So was, I'm really happy and really content. So do you have any shout outs, Viper? Uh, not really, other than, uh, obviously, big shout out to Vidhoofd for the amazing production work, uh, camera work, and everything. Uh, remember that, uh, I'll just give my own quick plug here, uh, you can watch the NA UGC Platinum Finals tomorrow as well. It will be after the, uh, uh, EU UGC Finals, which will be streamed right here on Critscast and... I believe it will be on Vox's Twitch channel, so you could uh, check that out on UGC if you want. Uh, it was great casting with you, Demato, and uh, that's really it for me. Okay, great. So, also, I'm I'm not 100% sure, but if you're still hungry for competitive TF2, I think there's still a cup going on onto Essentials, so peeking that out uh, quickly. So, anyway, yeah, that was it from us tonight. My shoutouts go basically to all the viewers because you are this. Uh, you're the boys and girls and ladies and gentlemen. We're actually doing this, so I'm really happy. And thanks for watching, and have a very nice evening.